हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग थर्ड थर्ड वीडियो फॉर अवर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो एज वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अराउंड हंड्रेड और वन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इन अवर प्रीवियस टू वीडियोज दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द आर जी आईस रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन एंड अपकमिंग वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द डेवलपमेंट मीन्स इन द अपकमिंग वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर जी आई सर्वर आर जी आई जावर स्क्रिप्ट ए पी आई आर के एस डी रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द थर्ड वीडियो so question 1 what are the application of arcgis desktop we have these are the four application arc map arc catalog arc scene and arc globe what is the purpose of the arc catalog arc catalog basically we are using to define the structure of the spatial or non spatial data what is the main purpose of the arc map arc map is the application in arcgis that that we use to create visualize and manipulate the maps what is the purpose of the arc toolbox arc toolbox is the application in arc gis that contains data management and conversion tools and wizards apart from apart from these two there are many different different tool sets are there where we can where we can use the tools based on our requirement what is the purpose of m value at the time of the feature class creation whenever we are creating a feature class there are, we are getting two options enable m value and z value so basically when we are using the m value if we are going to create a feature class that we are going to use for the navigation purpose so we have to enable m value what is the purpose of the z value so z value we are enabling whenever we are going to create the feature classes where we required the elevation elevation information means basically the enabling z z value is uh, insist us to uh, create the feature class for the 3d model means whenever we want to create some 3d related things or we want to do some analysis for the three dimension so we have to enable z value what is the maximum length of the field name in the shape file the maximum name length is the shape file is 10 because as we already know whenever we are creating a shape file all the data is stores in the dot dbf file and this constant is from the dbf file in dbf file if we want to create a field that field name should not more than 10 what is the workspace in rgis workspace has a directory database and field and file folders on disk that hold numerous data sets including geo databases as well as external data set in many file format for example folder containing esri shape files jpg images dxf cat file dbase tables excel spreadsheet or gml data files what is the geo database rgis geo database is a collection of geographic data sets of various types held in the common file system folders a microsoft access database or a multi user multi multi user relational dbms so basically in in whenever in upcoming in upcoming videos we are going to see how many types of geo database we have and what are the purpose of each kind of geo databases but the thing is what is the geo database geo database is the collection of the geographic data sets what is the feature data set that is very important question for the interview because here whenever interviewer ask ask us the question what is the meaning of the feature data set so here the most important thing is we have to we have to include the word common coordinate system means what is the meaning of the feature data set feature data set is the collection of the feature classes which are having same coordinate system this is very important means all the feature classes what we are keeping in one feature data set so those all feature classes are, are having the same coordinate system what is the feature class feature classes are the homogeneous collection of the common features each having the same spatial representation such as point line or polygon and common set of attribute columns what is a table the table is the same as the feature class the only difference is the feature class can contain the spatial information but the table we cannot contain the spatial information it means the feature class basically feature class is the spatial entity feature class contain spatial as well as non spatial information but the table is the core non spatial entity here we cannot store the spatial information what is the subtype and the uses and what is the domain and the uses these two 
questions are very important. So first of all, we have to know subtype we can define on the feature class level and domain we are defining on the workspace level. Okay, this is a very important point for the subtype and domain. Subtype always defined on the feature class level and domain is always defined on the workspace or geodatabase level. Whenever we define the domain, that domain we can use in any feature class. But whenever we are defining the subtype for a feature class, so that subtype we can use only for that particular feature class where we define the subtype. The purpose of the subtype and domain is almost same, but the only difference is the domain we need not to need not to create for each and every feature class. It is common for all the feature classes, but the subtype is the it, whenever we are creating a subtype, this is the individual for all the feature classes. What is the definition query? The definition query tab on the feature display settings dialog box provide us with a way to de determine which feature appears on the map or the chart. Using the definition query, basically we can control the display of the features. So like what is the use of the definition query mainly use of the feature definition query is using the definition query we can define the table is called the join. What is the special join a special join is also the same as the join but the only thing is whenever we are asking the join join is based on the non special field and the whenever we are talking about the special join the special join is related to the special constraint the special join uses either a contaminant criteria or a proximity creation. So a special join is always using a join using the spatial constraint. What is the open source software? The open source application by define the by definition is software that we can freely access and modify the source code. And these are the few open source GIS software that we can use to achieve our target. Like we, the most common software is the QGIS, the quantum GIS. QGIS most of the companies are using the QGIS software as an open source software. What are the main type of analysis what we can do in the ArcGIS? The main, the main, main, the main analysis what we are doing. This is the overlay analysis and proximity analysis. Now the thing is what is the, what is the meaning of the overlay analysis? Overlay is a GIS operation that superimpose multiple data sets together for the purpose of the identify relationship between them. And overlay creates a composite map by combining the geometry and the attribute for the input data sets. Name commonly used tool in the arc map for the analysis purpose. We are using overlay analysis, proximity analysis, table analysis, and management. These kind of analysis with analysis tool we are using in ArcGIS. Here I want to explain you the thing like what is the like we already seen there are two main type of analysis we can do in the ArcGIS. One is the overlay analysis and other one is the proximity analysis. So basically what is the difference between this overlay analysis and proximity analysis that I want to explain you with the example like for example I want to I want to find out the ATM. I want to find out the ATM in some area like for example if we are talking about the Hyderabad. So I want to find out the ATM in uh, area one. Okay, I want to find out the ATM in area one. So that is the example of what that is the example of the overlay analysis. If I want if my query I am going to change my query my query now my query will be I want to find out the ATM which is surrounding one kilometer to my location. So that kind of query is comes under the proximity analysis. Like whenever you whenever you see in the Google map, they recently they implemented the functionality uh, find hotel nearby me. So what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? The meaning of that is the they are they are using the proximity analysis. Whenever you are saying I want to find a hotel nearby me, so Google try to find out hotel that is nearby one kilometer within the, 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 your range. So this is the example of the proximity analysis. What extract tool does the extract tools let the selected features and attributes in the feature class or the table based on the queries. Why we are overlay why we use the overlay tool the overlay tool contains tools of overlay multiple feature classes to combine erase modify or update a special feature resulting in a new feature class.
why we are using the proximity tool the proximity tool set contains tools that we use to determine the proximity of the feature within one or more feature classes or between two feature classes the other name of the proximity is the like nearby whenever we are talking about something related to the distance it means that is the example of the proximity analysis why we are why we use the statistics stat, statistics tool the static tool set contain tools that perform st standard statistical analysis like here we can find out mean median minimum maximum like this kind of things we can find out using the statistical tool why we are using the conversion tool as we already know in the gis there are many different different type of conversion we require so in our gis we have many different different type of conversion tool that we can use to convert our data from one format to another format what is the iteration as you know the based on the name the iteration what is the iteration repetition of the mathematical or computational procedure applied to the result of the previous application typically as a means of the op means of the obtaining successfully closer approximation to the solution of the problem iteration means we want to do the same type of operation again and again and again and using the previous value that is called the iteration uh, what to do when a task need to repeat multiple times we can use the model builder in rgis what is the model builder the in, mod, in the model builder we can iterate the entire model or just an individual process using the iterators can we edit shape files in the arc map definitely yes we can edit the shape file using the arc map what is the editing tool in the arc map the editing tools allow you to apply bulk editing to all or the selected feature in the feature class what is the attribute query the attribute query is the process of searching and retrieving records of the features in a data set based on the desired attribute values define two type of queries in arc map normally because as you know gis is the combination of the spatial as well as non spatial so in line in line of that here whenever we are talking about the query so here based on that there are two type different type of queries we can use in the arc gis we select by attribute and select by location how many ways we can do the customization in the arc map using the arc object and arc pipe what is a special query the special query is the special type of database query supported by geo database and space and special databases what is the toc in the arc map to table of content where we can see all layers tables and data sets what are the type of the attribute in gis there are many different different type of attributes we have in the gis like character integer flow data blob and text what is the pyramid basically pyramid is we are using the pyramid to increase the performance of rendering like whenever we are rendering the raster data so that time if if we created the pyramid of the raster data definitely it is very very useful for the performance of the rendering so with whenever we create the pyramid of the of the rasters then definitely we will get good performance so what is the definition like pyramids are used in the improved performance they are down sample version of the original raster data set and can contain many down sampled layers each successive layer of the pyramid down sampled at a scale of 2 ratio 1 what is the raster compare raster compression the primary benefit of the raster compression of data is to reduce the size of the file to help save disk space an added benefit in greatly improved performance over a network because we are transferring transferring a reduced amount of the data being read from disk and transfer to the server or direct read application what is the geo processing geo processing provides a large suite of the tools for performing gis tasks that range from simple buffered and polygon overlay to the complex regression analysis and image classification what is the arc pi as we already know arc pi is the like arc pi is the python customized tool or python customized library that we can use to customize the arc customize something in the arc gis in arc map can we create tool in the arc map yes using the arc pi or arc object we can create the tool what is the data view like uh, here i just want to explain you whenever we are talking about the arc map so in arc map basically we have two views are there one is the data view other one is the layout view Le data view we are we are using means that data view is the default view where we can do the operation we can select the data and everything 
and what is the meaning of the layout view layout view specific especially we are using for the printing purpose means whenever we want to create a generate a map with uh, like all the map component like heading legend neat line everything so in for that particular purpose we are using the layout view uh, like here i already given the definition what is the layout view that you can go through that definition what is the arc pro rgs pro is the new application for creating and working with the spatial data on your desktop it provides tool to visualize analyze compile and share your data in both 2d and 3d environment differentiate between the gis commands and tool that is also very important question for the interview commands do not require interaction with the map they just rely on the surface and tools on the other hand required interaction with the map canvas what is the difference between rgis and arcfm rgis is what esri build rgis as a generic platform arcfm is the custom custom map built on the top of esri but by minor and minor especially designed for the utility projects that arcfm we are using for the electric domain water domain like that difference between rgis and qgis everyone knows the difference between the rgis and qgis is rgis is the license software and qgis is the open source software both the software is provide the facility to work with the gis what is the difference between join and relate in join data will append means whenever we are joining two tables so two tables or two feature classes the another feature class data will append to the first feature class but whenever we are talking about the relate 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 just contain the relationship between two feature classes but it will not append the second feature class data to the first feature class thank you so this is all about the third video of the interview questions so after that we are going to prepare for the video fourth and fifth for the especially for the rgs server and the development related questions okay thank you guys